I've got a question for you guys. Which do you think came first? Kid Cuisine or Kid Cuisine? Kid Cuisine is a line of frozen TV dinners that were introduced in the year 1990. The name is meant to imply that it's a cuisine for kids, not that it's a cuisine made out of kids, a common misconception. Chicken nuggets, pizza, mac and cheese, Kid Cuisine really did know what kids wanted to stuff down their tiny, disgusting face holes. Kid Cuisine, however, is the name of the Kid Cuisine mascot. He's a penguin referred to as KC, but that literally stands for Kid Cuisine. So did Kid Cuisine create a line of frozen foods named after himself, or did his parents name him after already existing TV dinners? Well, it seems like the food came first, because the original mascot was actually a penguin named BJ, which stands for, well, you know. BJ the chef! Mighty small meal, partner! Get Today we're doing something a little bit different. I just got back from a trip and I wanted to whip up a quick video before I started work on my next game review, so here we are. I'm here in my tiny kitchen and instead of trying to make you feel nostalgic through games or movies, we're going to be taking a look at some frozen food. Uh, I haven't had a Kid Cuisine meal in ages, but Frozen food has always kind of been a part of my diet, so I think I have a palate to really do a fair review of these, uh, meals. Welcome back Kid Cuisine! Let's keep the fun going with my Kid Cuisine All-Star Chicken Nuggets meal, made with white meat for a taste that can't be beat. Let's see that again! First up is the All-Star Chicken Nuggets, a chicken nuggets meal with an all-star cast, complete with a chocolate pudding with cookie spoon. Dig into a galaxy of yummy flavors. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Looks a little sad. I can't really tell the difference between the, the corn and the mac and cheese. I think, yeah, this is definitely the mac and cheese. This looks like gravy. There's a lot of steps to this. You gotta remove the film, which comes off, uh, came off okay. Now you have to remove the nuggets. I don't, I don't know that I've ever had to do this for a frozen meal. Remove the nuggets and the cookie spoon. A microwave meal on high for one minute. I can do that. While that's cooking, let's read one of the reviews from the Kid Cuisine website. I bought this kid's cuisine for my 69 children, and eight of them just turned 50. There was a chicken nugget in my pudding. I would like a full refund on 7082 of your meals. John Stemos in prison. So now you gotta stir, I mean, it's still, it's still very frozen. I got cheese on the Ian cam. Uh, so now you put the, the nuggets back in. Oh, this is, this is a really professional video I'm making here, guys. Microwave, an additional two minutes. Now, how, how's this video going so far? Is this, is this interesting at all, even close? I told you I was gonna try new things. Uh, I didn't say it would all go well. Let's see that again! All right, timer just went off. Now for the fun part, and I gotta admit, it's smelling pretty good in here. Let's see what we're working with, though. Okay. So it's piping hot. We got our chicken nuggets, a corn, uh, mac and cheese, and pudding with the cookie spoon. Ouch. Well, that's some watery mac and cheese, man. That's, that's corn. That's, that's definitely corn. Ah. Oh, look at this stuff. It's, 
Oh, it's nasty. I don't know about the pudding, you guys. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. I've tasted everything on the all-star chicken nugget meal. Each component pretty much falls in one of two categories. In the better than I expected category, we have the chicken nuggets and the corn. And in the worse than I expected category, we have the mac and cheese and the pudding. Specifically the pudding. Uh, this stuff is just nasty and I don't know. I don't know that I want warm microwave pudding, really. Um, I'd rather have cold pudding, I guess. I'd probably rate this meal a solid three out of five, which ironically is the remaining length of John Stamos' prison sentence, if you multiply it by 10. All right, now we're gonna take a look at Snowstorm Popcorn Chicken. Obviously, this is a Frozen-themed meal, and uh, I haven't actually seen that movie. I have seen this snowman guy around. Uh, if I were to take a guess, I would imagine that this is the guy that Frozen falls in love with at the end of the movie. Uh, but I have no idea. Aside from some color-changing pudding, though, I think this is pretty much the same as their regular popcorn chicken meal, which has some pretty good reviews on their website. Like this one from Becky in Miami, who says, My kids love these, and... Dude, I can get $4 off Disney Frozen Snow Powers Elsa doll. That's a bargain. Oh, the mashed potatoes look so sad. At least this one seems more simple to put together. Uh, there's, you don't have, there's no chicken moving. I don't have to take the chicken out and put the chicken back in, which, I mean, that's just too many steps. I want, I demand convenience in my frozen meals. Okay, we just, all we gotta do is microwave it for three and a half minutes. Now I just gotta sit here and wait. Uh, this is going well, right? This is remotely interesting. I gotta find something besides just reviews to do, man. They take too long. I need, I need to do other things. It's like frozen food. I'm gonna finish this video. I, I, no matter how good or bad it is, this video is getting finished. It's getting done. Who are the creepy little snowmen next to the bigger snowman? Is that? Is that his minions? Hey, how's it going? This is me on the Ian cam. I'm currently waiting uh, for my food to finish microwaving. Done yet? Man. Kids don't have this kind of patience. Kids can't wait for three and a half minutes. I can barely wait for three and a half minutes, man. Where's my food? If you have kids and you're getting them kid cuisine, you, got, you also want to get them something to distract them while it cooks. Finally. Once again, it smells pretty good. Oh, look at the potatoes, though. Look at these things. Oh, oh my God. We gotta like stir. Do I have to eat that in my mouth? All right, um, I'm starting with the popcorn chicken. It tastes pretty much like the chicken nuggets, honestly. Fries aren't too bad either. That's, that's definitely corn. I feel like I'm sure these are already loaded with salt, but um, you know how it is. Some salt, some pepper going on. Definitely helps um, if you're eating this shit of salt and pepper. We gotta do the potatoes now. Oh, these aren't potatoes. This is supposed to be pudding. I thought there were potatoes at first. Oh. Surely this magic color changing pudding is healthy, right? I mean, it's magic. Magic is healthy. Okay, well, I thought these were potatoes at first. It's pudding. Uh, that doesn't necessarily make me any more excited to eat it. Oh, looks like I blended up a smurf. 
don't feed your children this. It's better than the chocolate pudding. I'll give it that. It's better than the chocolate pudding. I still don't want to eat blue toxic sludge. And it's so warm. I don't want warm pudding. Not, not this kind of pudding at least. The popcorn chicken, the fries, the corn, all pretty good though. I mean, as far as TV dinners go. So I guess this one's a four out of five, maybe a 3.5 out of five. Is there a perfect TV dinner? No. All right, finally, it's time to try the last Kid Cuisine meal for today. Uh, winter Fun Mac and Cheese. I should note that I bought this in July, so that doesn't bode well. This isn't the Cheese Blaster Mac and Cheese. I just use that commercial because it's one I remember. You don't easily forget a commercial that manages to make cheese look so disgusting. The regular mac and cheese meal has a different dessert and the noodles don't look like these two sisters, cousins, lovers, I don't know. I was really hoping I could get one of the pizza kid cuisines. I'm not really that big of a mac and cheese guy. I, I used to be when I was a kid, but nowadays, eh. It's all that Safeway had though, was these three. I would have gotten a bigger variety were it available to me at the time. Oh, we get the return of the color changing pudding. That's exciting. I gotta admit, I feel kind of like I've been cheated because the, the sprinkles packet takes up a whole thing. Like they could have put, oh my God, it's going everywhere, dude. The sprinkle packet takes up a full thing. Like you could have put more food in here. I threw the box, but I don't know how long to cook it. Here's a review for the original mac and cheese meal titled All Mac and No Chess. Literally no chiaz whatsoever, just bland, wet, soggy mac. My daughter ate and then threw up in my living room. Would not consume again by Why Is There No Chiaz in New York? So far I'd rate my performance in this video a solid 4 out of 10. Uh, if you're watching this far, thank you. I'm happy I tried new ideas, but I don't know that frozen food is, is the future of YouTube entertainment. Guys, I get $4 off Disney Frozen Snow Powers Elsa doll. That's 8 bucks off. Oh my god, look at I can save 8 bucks on this masterpiece. Remember when uh, uh, Froze Elsa used her snow powers in the movie Frozen? I do. All right. If I if I didn't like mac and cheese now, this is not going to convince me. I mean, oh, I think that was a bit of plastic I just ate. Oh, thank goodness for the corn, man. I mean, we've been here before, right? Uh, this the mac and cheese is basically like the mac and cheese from the all-star nugget meal. Uh, I actually kind of like the shape of these noodles better. There's a bit more noodle to them. It's still just like a faint cheese taste, like barely any. Very watery. The pudding is exactly uh, as it was before. I don't need to eat more of this. Um, uh, pass. Even though we're skipping the, the pudding on this one though, we can't let the magic powder go to waste. It just tastes like disappointment. It's not turning my mouth blue, is it? Overall, I'd say that the big winner today was uh, corn. Um, frozen, fresh, corn is good. I like corn. Maybe instead of getting your kids kid cuisine, you can just have them feast on a good old can of corn. 
not exactly nostalgic for the taste of kid cuisine. Although I do remember eating it, I don't remember it as well as something as, say, Lunchables. What I mainly recall are the commercials that Kid Cuisine would air constantly on channels like Nickelodeon. They also did a ton of tie-ins with movies and shows, a practice that they obviously haven't yet abandoned. But I'm not gonna let Kid Cuisine be the only TV dinner for kids. In fact, this entire video was just a research operation and I finally have the information that I need. I'm about to take the kids TV dinner market by storm by introducing my new product, Ian's Boxo Frozen Corn for Kids. And now try our new SpongeBob SquarePants Corn. It's corn shaped just like SpongeBob for a limited time. Buy one now, it'll have your kids saying, I'm ready, I'm ready for a shit ton of corn.